Yo, what's up? This is B-Boy El Nino, and you're chilling here with Break Advice. I grew up in the 90s, uh, mid-90s, breaking. Started in 95, uh, started competing and battling and doing shows in 96. So a little bit about the difference between then and now um, is that it was a lot more uh, freestyling and there wasn't as many competitions, so everything was more focused on the cypher. And, uh, you know, everything kind of had more of a party vibe aspect back then and um, now it's more about the competition. The competition kind of just took over things, you know? Um, but it's cool, I like that in today's era, we're trying to keep the balance, you know? We have competitions and then we have the after parties to kind of give that balance, which is dope. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I guess the biggest evolution uh, between then and now that I would say um, is back in the 90s, people freestyled a lot. There was no sets back then. It was kind of more letting the music uh, move you and, and, and getting groovy with it, you know? And um, whoever kind of won the jam or won the competition or called out the most people, they just kind of got that respect um, off the fact that they were on fire that day, just freestyling and being one with the music. Um, and now it's kind of like more people do sets, um, amazing sets, but the, the kind of freedom of the dance is a little bit, the essence of it is a little bit taken away now. But, um, but that's the uh, kind of the trade-off because now the moves have evolved um, to, to such amazing things. People are doing amazing stuff now. So it's like, you know, before the level wasn't as good as the level is now, but the aspect of the fun, the dance, and listening to the music was more important back then. So I'd say that's kind of like the most, uh, the most difference between then and now. Not recognize. Not, 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 not recognize. So nowadays, you know, it's not just about listening to music and killing it and freestyling. Uh, you actually need some really dope moves and you need some set uh, concepts. So that's why I'm going to show you guys a quick transition between swipe and tap mill. So basically, this, this step or this transition with power moves, it uh, starts off with a swipe, okay? So you can do swipe from many things. You can do it from six step, um, which if you do it from six step, it would be like this, you know? You learn your six step, right? Then you switch to your left hand, or if you're righty, you switch to your right hand, and you would swing again. And as you swing, you would swipe with your one leg. But I'm gonna teach you from standing up, all right? From your, from your top rock. And if you don't know how to do swipe or tap mill, you can check out some previous videos on break advice. So, starting off from my top rock, right? Boom, 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 right? As I get back, I'm getting ready to go into my swipe. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put my right hand down first, and I'm gonna swing my body weight into a one-legged swipe, okay? So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna put my arm down, my right arm down around here, and I'm gonna swing my waist in this motion and drop my leg down around here. So if I go from top rock, boom, boom, right arm down first, swing that leg down. So here we go. One, two, swipe. That's the first step, okay? Now, instead of continuing and doing swipe, what I'm gonna do is transition to baby mill. So normally what you would do with a swipe is, you swipe, drop your right leg down, and swing over with your left and keep swinging. For example, right, swing, swing. That's your continuous swipe, right? I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is, instead of swinging over with my left and, and continuing the swipe, I'm gonna swing over with my left but turn inward into a tap mill, okay? So, and continue with your swipe. Drop, left hand, swing over into your tap mill. If you're a lefty, drop your left hand, uh, drop your left leg, swing around with your right, and turn this way. I'm a righty, so I'm gonna go this way, okay? Over here, one, two, swipe. 
that's pretty much the basis of it, okay? So, if I'm swipe, I'm right here, okay? The next step is to swing over with my left and turn completely around here, okay? So that's your step. If you're up here on your swipe, you're gonna swing over with your left hand, okay? And you're gonna make sure you go completely around and tap this leg on the ground, okay? So again, if I'm here, boom, there's your swipe, swing, okay? And what I do is I drop my right arm on the ground to sort of cushion my fall, okay? Fall, swipe, okay? We're back. When you tap, you want to be kind of in a circular motion, so you tap, boom, up, swipe, and back up. So you do swipe, swing around, drop to your tap mill, and then after you drop to your tap mill, you hear? I'm gonna swing over and lift with my arms and swing back to swipe. So swipe, tap mill, swipe, okay? So we're here, this is the tap mill position. Here, swing, I'm gonna lift up all my body weight with just my upper arm strength. So I'm here, and I'm gonna swing into that swipe. And there you have it, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys in, in full speed. Swipe, tap mill, back to swipe. Here we go. So when you're doing this move, it's all about form. A lot of times when people do swipes, either their butt is too low, so they're down here instead of up here and out and about. You don't want your, your butt to be too low to the ground. You want to be high and up to, to give it that dynamic effect. Um, also, when you swing over with your left hand into your tap mill swipe, another hard part is going back to swipe. So what you want to do is when you're on your back on the tap mill, you tap, turn, you want to push up with both hands and swing your, your, your body right to drop that leg. If you're lefty, left to drop that leg, okay? So you wanna make sure that you keep your form right, your chest out, your legs up, and your butt away from the ground. And when you swing into it, that form is complete. Please subscribe to Break Advice. If you wanna learn, keep watching our videos and keep practicing hard and doing your thing. Once again, I'm B-Boy El Nino for Break Advice, and I'm out. Peace. Now recognize. Now recognize. Now recognize. Break advice.